Yeah, yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. Keep working until we get to the top. Can't stop, won't stop. Keep working until we get to the top. Can't stop, won't stop. Two schools, one heart. We push on at Bronx Heart. When it's lights up, hype up, put your sights up Aim up high, push through the stage right Like McCabe, I push the car to Friday Like Rebecca Black, putting your work is like investments I get it back Good morning, Bronx Arts My name is Jador Scott Running you the important announcements So I'm going to tell you about the uh, expectations and the dance. Wait, is that the dance students? Anyways, so I'm going to tell you the expectations you need to follow for the school rules. Number one, keep up with your schedule. I mean, you need to know where your class is going. Don't try to lose it. Keep it like in your folder or keep it where a place you know where to be. If you don't know where it's at, at least Take a picture of it on your phone or just remember your schedule. Number two, make sure you keep your hands, your feet, your body to yourself. Don't be around hitting kids. I mean, come on, like keep your hands to yourself. Number three, do not chew gums in the hallways. I'm telling you, you should not chew gums in the hallways because it got on my shoe recently. I mean, like, come on, man, you cannot do that. Okay. And also, we got to make sure that our lockers are clean. Because if our lockers are not clean, it's going to be trash outside the school. We got to make sure and monitor that our school is clean and safe. So make sure you take care of your lockers. Hello, Bronx Scholars. Today we are here with... Mr. Flux. He is? Seventh grade math teacher. Oh, okay. Filling in the shoes of Mr. Mello, the infamous. You can never do that. <gasps> anyways, anyways, what inspired you to be a math teacher? What inspired me to be a math teacher? Well, I um, struggled a little with math when I was in school, but I had a mom and I went to schools that were really good and they pushed me to get better at it and better at it and better at it. So now I feel like I want to contribute what I know to my students and use my mistakes that I made in the past uh, in order to help students not make the same mistakes and turn a weakness into a strength. What is your favorite thing about teaching at BAM so far? My favorite thing about teaching at BAM so far are the students. The students are really talented, really personable, really friendly, respectful, and funny. And I love it here. The vibe is vibing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you ever taught any other subjects besides math? Or were you just like stuck to math? No, this is actually my first time teaching math. I've taught ELA, I've taught social studies, I've taught, well, just ELA and social studies. Well, that's really it. That's and I've really taught it. elementary school. So when you teach um, elementary school, you, you teach everything, teach every like math, science, blah, blah, blah. I substitute taught science before, um, and I substitute taught math before. How many years have you been teaching? I've been teaching, this is my ninth year. Oh, wow. So, I'm true to this, not new to this. Oh. Why did you pick BAM out of like all of the schools that you could have applied to? I picked BAM out of all the schools that I did apply to and that did um, give me offers because I love that BAM focuses on the arts just as much as they focus on the academics and they don't let the academics outweigh the arts. I'm a creative person myself, I'm a filmmaker. So I love um, incorporating arts and academia into one cohesive uh, relationship. I think that's ideal, and that's what I'd like to do, is combine my creative skills along with my instructional skills in order to give it to students. Ain't no such thing as us giving up, can't stop, won't stop. We're always looking up, 
Cause ain't no such thing as us giving up Laying down together, take a look Cause ain't no such thing as us giving up Can't stop, won't stop, we're always looking up Cause ain't no such thing as us giving up Laying down together, yeah. I heard it was somebody's birthday. I heard it was somebody's birthday. Yeah. PJ Penn, a birthday song. Yeah. Yeah. Today is your birthday. We gon' say it loud. Today is your birthday. I know you're so proud. 